Okay, one of the best features we have is the route ticket group area. There's three different groups where you have a lot of options you can utilize in our software. These are used for reporting purposes. So if you use chemicals, you can track how much chemicals you use. If you want to do check check off things for your, your uh, maybe lawn mowers to make sure they've mowed a certain lawn or, or weed whacked or edged certain areas, that's what this is going to be used for. So basically anybody that uses routes, they can use these route ticket group fields. And let me show you what these are. If you go to route info, route ticket list, you get a list of all your route tickets. You have to have at least one route ticket in here because you have to go into the route ticket in order to set up these fields. So if you don't have a route ticket yet here to click, you can either click this blue number, it brings you in, and then hit edit field names. But let's say you don't have any route tickets and you just got the software. You're going to go to route info, ticket entry. In here you have to just select a customer, and this can be junk. You don't have to use this. We can delete this at any time. Just set up these fields right here. Just get the time, hit no on this, get name, time, then you can hit edit field names. These are our groups. They're going to tell you which ones are, are ready for what kind of answer. So basically this type of field is very important. Anything that says text, that means that the answers that your technicians are going to put in can only be A through Z, no numbers. Anything that says numbers, this will accept in A through Z answer or numbers. Anything that is set for drop downs, you can set up drop downs. We have check boxes and we have date fields. So when you're in here, you're not going to be adjusting these group numbers, you're not going to be adjusting the type of fields, you really are not going to adjust anything but the labels. In here I've already done a few labels. These are going to be the questions that are asked on the ticket. Is the sky blue? Is the water clear or murky? And you can take advantage of other fields. Next, we're getting into our color, our number fields. You know, what's the alkalinity? What's the tricolor? What's the dye color? How much have you added? How much oil are you putting in these machines? Anything that you need to use these for, you can use them for. And like I said, these come out on reports. And down here, I've added a couple check boxes. Has the pool been skimmed? Has the grass been cut? Has the weeds been whacked? Are we, uh, did we do our edging? Once you get this done, you hit close. These fields show up in every route ticket that's worked. These are across the board fields. From here, we need to push that information up to the mobiles. We're going to hit sync mobile devices. We're going to select routes from the dropdown and hit sync. Once that is complete, you now need to do a sync of route tickets. Next, we do route tickets and hit sync. When those are done, they are going to show up on the mobile side. When you create a route ticket for a technician, they're going to get on site, and they're going to have these three group fields inside each route ticket. If you expand the group fields, you'll notice that the same things I put in the desktop are now on the web. Is the sky blue? Is the water murky? So yes, no, the water's not murky. Now I'm getting into my numerical fields. Maybe I want to track the alkalinity that I've added, the tricolor dye color, how much oil have I used. Now the reason why this is super helpful is you have these little question marks or explanation points. If you hit them, it's a history. It will list the last four times you've showed up on that location. So the last four times that I have gone to the customer Alfonso's Pizzeria, if I entered readings here, they would display. This is super useful when you're maybe at a pool company trying to track um, why a pool's water won't become clear, but you've added a lot of different chemicals. So you'll actually be able to see the last four stops. Um, additionally, we've got other fields down here, which I did not take advantage of. We have a lot of extra fields. And then I did some in group three. I made a check mark. Uh, yes, I've skimmed the pool. Yes, I cut the grass. I did the weed whack. I've done the edging. And here's my extra open ones. We also have a date field. Um, if you can find a reason to use it, it's there for your use. So once the techs have entered this information, the last thing they do when they complete their ticket, it gets a location, among other things. If I would 
I have additional pop-ups here. You can sign a ticket also to complete it. So once you're done, you can back out. Now the, play that, the place that these fields give you the information, if you go to the desktop, let's say you have a bunch of uh, route tickets already done and you want to run the reports. You're going to go to route info, route ticket list. At the top of the route ticket list, you can click on web reports. This will open up a web page for you. You can sort via one customer or leave it blank for all. The same thing with the route, if you just want to see a route or leave it blank for all routes. And then you can put in a date range. So I'm going to go ahead and put in the date range for the entire month of March and select the report route tickets reports. And what it's going to do is list each route ticket that you've done along with the answer that you've put in, that your technicians have put into those areas. Along the bottom, you get a sum and an average. And that's why this is super useful. People use this all the time. This is not to be confused with your charges. This is purely, these group fields are purely for tracking stuff for reporting purposes. If you use, if you charge for your tricolor, trichlor, your alkalinity, you're going to create line items for that and add line items to the ticket. So those are two different things. One is for reporting, which is your group fields. The other one is line items, which are for charges if you charge. And that's how the route ticket group fields work and how they come into play along with the reporting.